Irithil of the Boreal Valley. This is, uh... Where Aldrich is. Oh, this looks cool. I like that a lot. Praise the gorgeous view. I agree. Bonfire, but ah, pointless. I mean, I guess I guess that's true because there was just a bonfire. <laughs> Try stomach. Oh no. Up. Something gonna drop down. It's gonna be the Taurus demon or whatever from the first game again. Bring a doll to be granted passage. I have the doll. Ooh, I don't know what you are. You're a mean pupper. You keep hitting me even though you're not, like... He keeps hitting me even though his mouth is way above me. Is it because his his stomach mouth is biting me? Is that what's happening? This Vihander, I'd like to find that one too. I just want all the weapons, man. All right, revenge. Ow. Lightning, he can breathe lightning. I am about to die. I I rolled. I did roll a second time. The game can t the game can say otherwise, but I call shenanigans. I rolled, man. This guy's pretty tough. Don't worry, we're gonna keep trying. Ugh, I gotta remember that after he does that charging attack, he also does a jump. Drink. Ow. Oh my god, the double bite. <laughs> this guy's a monster. This guy's tougher than the last boss I fought. I'm glad that the fight is like right here though, so that I can just keep trying it. He's very fast. Okay. So after he does the charge, he also does a jump. Nope, he didn't do it that time. What? 
I was hugging his belly for a good second there. I wonder how, like, uh, viable range is in these games. I've pretty much only ever watched people play Dark Souls games by doing, like, uh, either dex or strength base. I almost never see people using sorceries, and then I don't think I've ever seen people use, like, archery. God, okay, don't go for a second hit. Only go for one hit at a time. Ow. Bad dog. Holy. This guy is wrecking. This guy is wrecking me right now. <laughs> Flash sweat. Unique pyromancy. Increases fire damage absorption. That's not going to help me very much at all. Enemy ahead. Yep, I got it. He didn't even charge. He just jumped me. My god, I went for the second hit there, and I get punished for it! Tip. Oh my god! This man... It's fine. We'll get him eventually. I don't care if it takes me a few tries. I, I, this, I think this enemy has killed me the most out of enemy, any enemy in the game so far. Where does he even come from? Did he just materialize? I love getting bit, even though I'm under you. I guess I'm safe here, theoretically. Oh, he's probably gonna come back with full health. No, actually not. So if I wanted to cheese him, I could. But I'm not gonna do that. That was a big mistake, trying to just smack him on the, on the snout there. Oh, crap. I don't know why I felt the confidence to just try and initiate the attacks. I'm usually a better fighter reacting to everything. The enemy makes a hit and I jump in and give a little, little poke or a little, little bop when they're, when they're recovering. That's, that's my usual technique. And then I only ever really initiate the, the, uh, what's the word? The exchange, uh, if I'm feeling confident or if I'm trying to purposely, like, oh my god. Okay. I'm starting to learn some of his attacks. Okay, he didn't go for the jump after that. He's gonna do two quick bites. Third! He can do a third, okay. Okay, he definitely responded to my drink there. Don't know how that hit me.
Second hit there. Ow. I'm alive at the moment. Shit. Did not want to go for that other extra hit there. I'm alive, but I'm running out of Estus. And he is very much not close to death yet. That was some good damage at the cost of me taking damage myself. Oh my god, he can actually grab me like that? That's the first time I got hit by the, uh, the wide mouth, uh, death charge. Okay. This is an interesting enemy. I don't like how fast he is. I also don't know if the weapon I'm using is good at all for dealing with him. But, here we are. Hello, Popper. <laughs> Off to a strong start. He can do that side bite really quickly. Quicker than I anticipate him being able to do it. Come on, we're not done yet. Ah, I didn't, I did not, I, I hesitated to dodge for some reason on that one. Staggered him. That third one was going right for my jugular. <laughs> okay, then. Do not get bit by that one. Go finish him. Ha ha! Pontiff's right eye. We did it, though. Mean old pupper. Alligator pupper. I don't know what it was. Pontiff's red eye boosts attack as long as attacking persists. So does that... That description would uh, suggest to me that uh, like successive attacks will get stronger. And then if I, if I pause on my attacking, they will no longer be powerful. What are those? Also, I never got at the bottom of the bridge in the catacombs. I don't know if I could, if it was possible for me to do so. I might go and check that after I, uh, I guess there's a bonfire right here. Aha, we've made it to Irithyll. I imagine uh, if I didn't have the silver doll that would let me inside, <laughs> that the dog would corner me there <laughs> and make it a sad time. Uh, let me really quick. Go back to High Lord Wolnir. Just want to take a look at that pit and see if I can see a way down or if I might be able to gain access to it from elsewhere. 
I didn't get the chance to really examine it much. Uh, do it ahead. You know? That does not feel like a... This does not feel like a place where I drop down. It feels like a place I would drop down if I wanted to die. There's a dude just standing down there. I mean, that right there might be a place to drop down to. But then... I didn't even see where I would go from there. Mm, there might be a cave down there. This is sketchy though, right? Like, that doesn't seem correct at all. I basically have to jump from, like, here down to there? That doesn't seem right at all. And I don't see a way of jumping there. I feel like I see something right through the crack in the the wall, the rocks there. So maybe I get access to this area from above. Because, I don't know, I was looking at the, the Boreal Valley in the water, and it kind of looked like the area, this area, so maybe they connect. <clears throat> Alright, well, then we're going to go back to Central Irithyll. We got some exploring to do. I wonder if the dog would respawn. I'm not going to run all the way down the bridge to find out. Large soul. Nice little fountain here. All right, let's let's take a stock of what we've got. Gap between the buildings that I can't fit through. A door that I can't open. A staircase leading up. And footsteps? Is that an invisible enemy? Is it a ghost? Can I attack it? No. Okay. It is a ghost of some type. And this is a dead end. Another soul. Tree, building, building. A random alcove, an overgrown door. A plant growing in the middle of a stone road. I hear tinkling. There's gotta be a crystal lizard. And this looks like that's the way that leads down into like the water. But I don't have access to that yet. It looks like the only path I have forward is the stairs. So let's go see what's up there. Trio ahead. One, two. fast. They're fast. And they can freeze me. So you'd think that fire would be pretty effective. Holy crap! That's a lot of damage.
I was trying to just stagger, like get in the middle of there. And he just kept wailing on me. And it just kept going. And I knew what was going to happen after like the second hit. And I naively thought that I could still uh, fight him off. I have like 30,000 souls at the moment. I'm going to have to use these up. He's having a fun time over there. All right. Just keep wailing on you. If you ca if you can't retaliate, <laughs> then I don't die. You say trio. I see two of them. Where's the third? Lots of bodies here. There's a third. Found you. Shit. You're so close to death. Letting you kill me now would be a mistake. I don't know what you're pulling out of your mouth. Pontiff Knight Curved Sword. So you are a Pontiff Knight? I'm seeing lots of references to the Pontiff. I think the Pontiff was the one who gave the doll to his subjects too, right? Not so bad. As long as I don't let you hit me. Large Titanite Shard. It looks like a big open area, but I see nothing in there that would suggest that I can reach it. What was down this way? I'm going to guess that this is locked. I don't know who's snarling over there or what that big round looking thing in there is. Let's work our way up the street here. Another one of these long neck ghosts. Can I jump? No. Okay, there's an invisible wall there. So continue upwards. I don't like you. I don't like your smokiness. I don't like the way you're walking with that sword. It is intimidating. When you attacked me, it became less intimidating, I'm gonna be honest with you, but you do have glowing white eyes, so will you come back to life? Well, you're not a skeleton. Claymore. Oh, crap. <laughs> I, w I was being excited about the Claymore. The Claymore was the one I used in the first game. Hey there. I hope you're enjoying the videos of the Dark Souls 3 adventure with me and my best friend. I'd love to hear what you all think, so please leave a like or a comment and consider subscribing to follow my journey to beat as many games as I can. Thank you for taking the time to watch, and I'll see you in the next one.